Hey guys, Mitch here from Joe's Base Camp in Brookvale. As always, we hope everyone is keeping well, staying indoors where you can, but remember that is no reason why we can't exercise. So we're bringing you another Base Camp Daily here today. It's gonna to be really short and sweet today, and I'm going to be teaching you a new movement. So if you were around last week and you saw uh, my video on bear crawl progressions, I worked through how you can do from a beginner to an advanced movement with a bear crawl, a really good core and shoulder exercise. Today, I'm going to do a similar kind of thing, but with a hollow hold. So this one is more just for the core. We won't have any um, upper body component in there as such. But again, I'm gonna work through four progressions and teach you how you can go from the most basic movement right through to a more advanced movement. Being a core exercise, it's really short and sweet. It's an awesome one you can chuck in at the end of your sessions. And as you'll see here, I'll only do it for a, um, a few minutes in total, but it shows how you can get a really good core workout, even just by adding, say, 20 seconds of a movement into the end of your sessions. Incorporate that in with the bear crawls from last week. Remember to jump back and watch that one if you haven't already. And you've got two really good um, core stability exercises that you can throw in um, throughout your routine throughout the week. So we'll get into it. Our four um, movements. The first one I'm going to show you is a bent leg hollow hold. Then we're going to go into a straight leg hollow hold and then an arms overhead hold and then finishing off with a more dynamic movement, which is called a hollow rock, where we actually have some movement in there and we try to test the stability even more. Today, the way I'm going to show this for you is just 20 seconds at a time, just to run through the movement, a few technique points, and you can try to adapt that into your, your training in 20 second blocks to start off with, and then maybe try adding five to 10 seconds per week as you work through the progressions. So I'm just going to get my timer on. We'll go in about 10 seconds. All you'll need is a mat. If you haven't got a mat, chuck a towel down, go on the grass, whatever you want to do. So, Exercise number one, we're gonna lie flat, knees up, head off the floor. Now, my technique points from here, feet in line with the knees, head off the floor, palms up, and most important thing is that my, my lower back is glued to the floor. So there shouldn't be any rays in there, it should be really solid, and I should be able to feel my whole back contacting the ground. If you can't get that, that's your first starting point. So getting that gluing through your lower back on the floor. If you feel it raise up, try and just rest for a second, take a deep breath, and then go again. We're gonna go into a straight leg hold next to so try and make it a bit more challenging for you. Same kind of thing though, if you're finding your lower back is starting to raise off the floor, you need to regress back to that, that bent leg hold. So let's get set up again. We're gonna go feet straight this time, head off the floor, and this time my arms are still by my side and my shoulders um, are pulled back. The reason we have palms up is so we don't have this in here where we roll out through the shoulders. We wanna be open through the back, draw the chin in. If we need to, if it's too challenging, we can then regress back to our bent leg formation. So that's progression number two. So you can start with that harder one with the legs straight for say 10 seconds and then bring the legs in for 10. Next week, you go 15 straight, five in. The following week, you're going the full 20 seconds with your legs out. Progression number three, arms overhead. So we're getting a really hollow shape with the body. Your, your aim is to try and have the feet roughly the same level as the hands, so we're not too hollowed out. Let's see what that looks like. So feet up, arms up, and we're holding this really solid position. Again, my lower back is the most important thing glued to the floor. My eyes are up, my chin's pulled back. If I need to, I regress. If I need to, I regress again. So there's progression number three. So you can see how we can work in and out of those movements within the one set if we need to. Progression number four is your hardest movement, and this is actually dynamic. That means we're actually moving, we're not static, we're not just holding. It's called a dish rock also known as a hollow rock. And what you wanna try and do here is maintain the exact same position, but you're just tilting up and down. You're not flapping your feet, you're not flapping your arms, it's just the body moving like a little pendulum. So let's see, arms up, we rock, really controlled. And I'm not actually moving my arms, I'm not flapping my feet, I'm just trying to go really steady, rocking from my back towards my bum, if I need to, I hold and I work down through my progressions. So, there you have it. That is a hollow rock. 
just a recap of our progressions. Bent leg, straight leg, arms overhead, and then your dish rock or your hollow rock to finish off. So like I said, really awesome core movement you can throw in at the end of your session. Combine that in with a few other exercises in a little core circuit, and you're good to go. Two or, two or three days a week would be perfect. Focus on that, keeping that lower back flat. That means the core's engaged. If you do have back problems um, when you're doing that, start with that bent leg variation first. That is your go-to. Until you can do that 100%, then you can move on. That's it. I want to see photos, videos. Let me know what progression you are up to in a few weeks. I want to know how you're going moving forward. Remember our hashtag, Basecamp Daily. Get it done, and then we'll see you for our next movement. Awesome work, guys. Have a good day.